This early diagnosis concept is critical if what we want to do is end TB because we not only have to find every case, but we need to start preventing the next case. Kenya is really leading the way in terms of TB control in East Africa by early adoption of new technologies. Tuberculosis is a disease of major public health importance in Kenya. In 2015, for example, tuberculosis was the fourth largest cause of death of an infectious agent in Kenya. In the last 10 years, so about 1.2 million Kenyans have been treated for tuberculosis. The good thing is that 90% of them have been treated successfully. But this is a huge and enormous burden that the health system and the country has us to bear with. Yeah. Tuberculosis interventions have to be tailored to reach people who would naturally be difficult to reach and who the general health system as maybe current structures does not, does not reach. The vulnerable and the people who face most inequities. Yeah. You have to bring in newer technology newer tools, more or less just better arsenal to fight the disease. The technologies that uh, Cepheid is bringing to the market are revolutionizing patient uh, management by providing fast and accurate results which are enabling uh, not only the rapid diagnosis and monitoring of disease but are making it possible for healthcare uh, providers to be able to initiate uh, timely and appropriate uh, treatments, which of course results in improved uh, patient outcomes. I work in the Provincial General Hospital Nakuru Laboratory. Uh, the gene expert, uh, since we started, it gives the diagnosis faster than the microscope. Now the microscope takes about two days to get our results, but the gene expert gives two hours. You get results. Uh, a rapid diagnosis of, of TB and rifampicin resistance is critically important when you're thinking about the early management of the disease. Now the gene expert MTB RIF uh, diagnoses TB and rifampicin resistance in under two hours, which means you can quickly link patients to appropriate care. When we started implementation in uh, 2011, we had only three machines which we placed in one area to see what impact are they creating. So we had close to 971,000 patients tested. In 2015, we tested close to 100,000 patients. 423 patients live resistant. The test is very simple to run, so it can be decentralized to lower levels of the healthcare system, where it can be run by healthcare professionals who are not are highly skilled. And the test is also very reliable, which means that clinicians have confidence uh, in the results that they receive. Being a multiple disease diagnosis platform, it therefore gives us an opportunity to do integration in terms of the improvement of the laboratory capacity at the sites where they are using the joint TBHIV platforms and to leverage on a single funding to be able to do all these in terms of capacity building of the healthcare workers, improving local infrastructure at the site. It means you have to sit together, so it provides what probably has been abusive in many places that the HIV and TB programs are sitting together in terms of planning, coordination, uh, monitoring and evaluation. This is key in terms of having actually sustainable health systems. We know that the RC is getting better and we're looking forward um, to the ultra countries which will be um, much more sensitive in diagnosing of TB but to also expert Omni. That I think can revolutionize how we, 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 we test for, for tuberculosis. The combination of the um, Gene Expert Omni and our new uh, Expert MTB Reef Ultra, which is going to be more sensitive uh, at the level of culture and that's going to be um, operated on the same systems, uh, is going to be key to actually doing active case finding at the level of the populations uh, down to their communities, their villages, really down into the countries where today uh, the programs have difficulties to reach the people. Dinex but Omni is, is going to be a game changer. It is going to provide true point of care molecular diagnostics 
and it's going to enable decentralization of testing to the lowest levels of the healthcare system. And here we are talking about all the way down to the community level, meaning that wherever testing is required, GeneXpert only will be able to provide that. We are able to map out which are the locations or places most in need of TB services with most undetected cases. But also not just the location, but which populations, be it children, people living with HIV, or even right now we realize probably the, the male gender. So it helps us there for now focus on that, have a focused intervention for that. And to do that you need good tools, you need good diagnostic assays. That's the only way I think we can be able to end tuberculosis in Kenya and elsewhere. With the NTB strategy for 2030, we're not going to get there unless we really push these new um, technologies out into the field as quickly as we can.